Hey guys, welcome back to Trendy Gadget. Today we'll talk about why you should wait for the new M1X Mac. Let's head into it. The M1 Chips For its latest Mac computers built on a 5 nanometer process, Apple has introduced a new generation M1 chip. The chipset is the first ARM-based chip from the US tech giant, and it improves performance and battery life in the company's personal computers, alongside the MacBook Air and MacBook Pro notebooks and the Mac Mini desktop computer, all of which are powered by the powerful chipset. The new chip was unveiled. John Isruji, Apple's senior vice president of hardware technologies, revealed during the event that the objective of the company in creating the chip was to achieve industry-leading performance and features while focusing relentlessly on performance efficiency. The new M1 chip on board the MacBook Air appears to have helped the company achieve that goal, as it aids in the provision of a good battery life, which is said to be capable of withstanding up to 15 hours of web browsing and 18 hours of video. The new processor is also touted to be 3.5 times faster than the previous Intel-based model in terms of speed. According to Apple, the graphics speed is also 5 times faster. The new M1 chip has 16 billion transistors, which is significantly more than 11.8 billion using the A14 Bionic chip in the iPhone 12. To increase the performance, the CPU core is also raised from 6 to an 8 core arrangement. In addition, the M1 has 4 heavy duty high performance cores compared to the 2 on the iPhone 12 and 4 low priority tasks with high efficiency cores. The MacBook Pro might not get the M1X treatment, but a recent tipster suggested that the next 16 inch MacBook Pro will feature the same 5 nanometer M1 chip as the models of the current generation. So we can conclude that in the 16-inch MacBook Pro model, there is no M1X present. There may be no performance difference between the 2021 16-inch MacBook Pro and the current generation M1 Max, according to a tweet by Duan Rui, as they may both use the same silicon. The M1X has previously been listed as a powerful 12-core port, but the upcoming MacBook Pro, according to the tipster, will feature an 8-core Apple Silicon. We have also seen previous reports that the 16-inch MacBook Pro and the 14.1-inch MacBook Pro will feature redesigns inspired by the flat edges of the iPhone 12. The 16-inch machine, however, will have a narrower screen frame, according to Duan Rui. The Apple Silicon iMac not the 2021 16-inch MacBook Pro, will most likely get the recently reported desktop class 5 nanometer A14T chip, as well as the M2. Despite having enough cooling space to accommodate a powerful chip, the new silicon will not be able to improve the performance of the 16-inch MacBook Pro. The first set of M1 computers, they are entry-level. We get low memory options, low storage options, and not as functional set of ports. Apple's M1 is a powerful chip that has impressed nearly everyone. However, the chip is designed for ultra-portable Macs, and the 2021 16-inch MacBook Pro doesn't fall into that category, so it deserves more powerful silicon. We should expect the new MacBook Pro models in the second half of this year, according to Ming-Chi Kuo, so there's not a whole lot left to wait. Hopefully, Apple might reconsider its decision and give its M1X silicon to the 16-inch MacBook Pro. The MacBook Pro and iMac computers, prosumer and professional users use with multiple CPU cores. The M1X Max With its first homegrown processor for Max, Apple made quite a splash, the M1. This Apple Silicon SoC features 8-core CPU, 7-core or 8-core GPU, and up to 16 gigabytes of on-package LPDDR4X memory and is based on the 5 nanometer process node. While the M1 is perfectly fine for the three Macs it launched on, MacBook Air, 13-inch MacBook Pro, Mac Mini, not it's nearly enough to meet the needs of power users currently rocking the 16-inch MacBook Pro, iMac, iMac Pro, or Mac Pro. To that end, Cupertino engineers are working on an even more powerful Apple Silicon, with the M1X reportedly being the next chip on the pipeline. According to CPU Monkey specifications, the M1X will increase its core count from 8 to 12 cores. There will be 8 high-performance Firestorm cores and 4 efficiency Ice Storm cores, according to reports. This is a break with the M1 chip from the present 4 plus 4 arrangement. The M1X is said to have a clock speed of 3.2 GHz, which is the same as the M1. What they're able to achieve when they design something for the M1 chip instead of fitting it into a previous design. With the M1X, Apple has not simply turned its attention to increasing the number of cores. It's also allegedly doubles the amount of memory supported. The M1X allegedly supports 32 gigabytes of LPDDR4X for 266 memory instead of topping out at just 16 gigabytes. Graphics performance jumping from a maximum 8 cores on the M1 to 16 cores on the M1 X should also receive a considerable boost. In addition, the M1X can support up to three displays, compared to two on the M1. 
the M1 and M1X, are just the beginning for Apple, with much more powerful SoCs on the way. The M1X will be included in an all-new 14-inch and 16-inch MacBook Pro models due later this year, as well as the redesigned 27-inch iMac, according to the CPU Monkey page. Additional ports not found on current-generation models, a next-generation MagSafe charging system, and an all-new design are expected on the new MacBook Pros. Allegedly, the new laptops will also ditch a love-it-or-hate touch bar, adding brighter displays that could possibly use mini-LED technology. Although little is known about the next-generation iMac at this time, it is expected to use an entirely new form factor with much slimmer display bezels. This proves that it's definitely worth waiting for. What do you think about the new M1X Mac? Do you agree that you should wait for it? Let us know in the comment section. But this brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.